Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Antonimo Bay, and thank you for stopping by and seeing what I have going on today. Um, I kind of made an impulse buy. I saw this um, Supergirl figure, and and I just I was in a Supergirl mood, I guess, and I thought I'm going to pick that up. I, I have been jonesing for Supergirl lately. Um, this is from Injustice, which I'm assuming is like the, uh, the video game, which I did enjoy. I played um, a great deal of. And we're going to just crack it open, as long as it's not too difficult here. I'm not a package saver, so I don't care about that. We're going to get her out of here. I noticed this one comes with a comic book, which maybe I'll take a quick look at first. Um, I, do, I do appreciate Todd that he does always give us things in our, our action figure package that we actually want. I know Hasbro likes to give us like two extra sets of hands and an extra face and a whole bunch of other crap that I will literally never use and I throw in a drawer. But um, anytime you're gonna throw in and give me a card, Supergirl card, nice. Um, Todd has given me a Supergirl comic book, which that's nice. It does appear to be sealed, so I might just kind of leave that in there for now, but it is in there, and I'm glad that he gave that. And then we get the figure herself, which, oh man, this is going to be tougher to open than I thought. Oh, and I have no knives in the vicinity. Well, shoot, give me a second. All right, so while I took her out of the package there, I had to run and get a knife and stuff, I decided to uh, go ahead and open the comic book as well um, and just take a quick peek in there to see what kind of art it had going on. And it looks, doesn't look bad, half, half bad at all. I was pretty pleased with that. So yeah, not the easiest angle to kind of show everything going on in there. I also opened up the card because I do collect cards as some of you have seen some of my card videos. Um, not like a total card nut, but I do love the occasional set of cards. Um, and I do have a few of the McFarlane cards. Now, uh, the first McFarlane figure I ever bought was uh, the Cuddle Team Leader from Fortnite. I thought he did a tremendous job on those Fortnite figures. And that's what kind of got me to occasionally, very occasionally, pick up one of these. And even though I played this game, I, I'm having a trouble remembering... Uh, this version of Supergirl in it, it just seems really alien to me, really foreign. But I must say I liked the full armor costume, and so I went with it. I'm not wild about this hair. This is probably my least favorite Supergirl hair, but I'm not like mad at it. It's just, it's, it's not my favorite. So uh, being a McFarlane, this figure is a little bit weird. Um, if you're not terribly familiar with McFarlane um, DC stuff, you get butterfly hinges on all of the shoulders a ball joint uh, with an upper bicep cut, double jointed elbows, a wrist ball joint with a swivel. So, I mean, like pretty, pretty hefty uh, amount of joints in a single arm. I went ahead and placed, replaced her open hands that she came with with her fist hands because that seems more Supergirl appropriate to me. Um, she has a decent, actually she has a fantastic, let me change that to fantastic ab crunch um, and she has two. She has the one right below her rib cage, and then there's a secondary one that runs right into the top of her waist. And then this is a free floating, like rubber platelet piece that goes over here, which gives you kind of interesting movement and range with her legs. She has the weird McFarlane like hinge joint things in there, and they don't have a rotation. Some of them do. Um, and I, this one just doesn't, I think. So no upper thigh rotation there. But you get double jointed knees, which are a little bit stiff, but not frighteningly so. And then you get these ankle rocker ball type joints at the, the ankle. And then toe articulation uh, for some unknown reason. I have no idea why you need that. It's completely useless. Um, stop doing it. Um, the only thing that happens with these that can be a problem is sometimes when you rotate the hip, the hip can catch on that lip and fold it under and it looks dumb, it looks bad. 
And so this whole piece can shift, and sometimes you gotta move it over. Other than that, I don't have a problem with McFarland's design on this. It's very similar to uh, Play Arts Kai. Her cape looks excellent, the color looks excellent, the paintwork on this looks excellent. Um, this is the same price as a Marvel Legend, and of course it's going to be uh, done better than a Marvel Legend for the price, because this isn't Hasbro, and uh, Hasbro seems to fall in this terrible rut of, of giving us very, very bare minimum mediocre figures, charging a very high premium, and uh, they just pack them in a box now that's wrapped in tissue, basically. Where you look at the price of this, you came with a full, full display window box, if you wanted it. Came with a comic book, a collector card, an extra set of hands, and a stand, and paint, and more joints and articulation than your average Hasbro Marvel Legends. So I, once again, I'm going to keep pointing this out, uh, I, I don't like... Hasbro is screwing us. They are cutting corners on stuff, and it's just very frustrating to try and collect them when I'm seeing companies produce better product for the same or less money. So, um, Hasbro rant alone, I'm pretty happy with this Supergirl. It is a one of my, um, I'm going to say easily my favorite DC character um, in any variation. I just, I think she's great. Very interesting. Uh, look, design, costume, everything. I just love Supergirl. And anyway, so uh, this is not my favorite Supergirl figure, but I do like it a lot. I gotta say, I do like this one. And maybe I should pull out some of my other Supergirl figures and kind of do like a comparison a five-figure video or something, because um, I do have a few of them, and it is, like I said, my favorite DC character. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. I appreciate you guys watching. If you see this figure, You've got an idea, the rundown on it. If it's something you want, pick it up. I think it's a great figure. Anyway, that's my story. Catch you guys later. Bye.